Hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. We are live every Thursday, Tuesday at 3. And this week we are live again today. We're answering a few questions of some of the people that messaged me, uh, direct messaging me. I get so many questions on the direct messaging on Instagram and Facebook. Today we're going to answer a few. So are you ready for that? Uh, looking forward to today's session guys if you have any questions send them through on the live session or send them through to me as a direct message and i will answer them today we're going to talk a bit about the general questions in terms of entrepreneurship business startup side hustle and everything else i hope you guys are having an amazing tuesday so far uh class thank you so much for joining in on the live session uh let's tackle the first question um, so we have uh, Tayan saying uh, it was a great experience to have you come to my school uh, Your words definitely made me want to keep pushing on my dream. Thank you so much Tayan uh, For the feedback. I would like to know from you which stores I can get your book. Okay, so this is an easy one Exclusive books bargain books across the country. It should have the book if you get to the store and the book is already sold out just ask them to order new stock from copper Birch. that's my distributor but they are in bargain books and exclusive books across the country um, then henry is saying ek het baie gaan dink oor my beesigheid wat ek wil begin ek voel dat ek nie genoeg ondervinding het om my company te vat nie en ek glo waar dit hier moet gaan nie ek soek iemand om te see hoe te kan wees as ook deel van die company kan koop, hoe krijg ek so iemand en waar begin ek om so iemand te krijg. So he's, so he's saying that he, he doesn't feel like he has the experience uh, to start the business and he wants to hire a CEO or someone that can run his business. Um, I would say this is not a good idea. It's not a good idea to just hire someone if you don't know the basics, okay? If you want to hire a developer, right, to develop an app, you need to know the basics. You don't need to know the detail. You know, don't need to be a pro, okay? You can hire a developer, the pro. You can hire the pro. But you need to know the basics. Because otherwise, the developer is going to tell you, hey man, this is going to take three weeks, right? And you won't know if he's right or wrong. And you might probably pay him for three weeks of worth of development. And then when you look at the code, you'll be like, Oh, okay, I can see this was three weeks. Meantime, that took him a week or a few days. And if you knew the basics of coding, you would have known that that is a few day project or a one week project. But because you didn't, he built you for three weeks. Now, similarly in business, you need to know the basics so that when you do hire a pro, or someone that's specialized in their field. You know what they're supposed to do. You know what they should do. You know what you can do or could do. And you know what to expect. Okay, so I would suggest when you want to start a business, start reading up on your business uh, things, start developing your financial skills, start reading up on financial stuff, find out how a business works. And read up on how to launch a business, read up on lean business startup, read, read up on all of the business and entrepreneurial concepts that you need to know. Get those ones under the knee and start small. Start that business from the ground. I learned so, so, so many lessons with all of the small businesses I've started. Even if it was a super micro business, I still learned lessons. And now when I have bigger businesses and I hire people to replace me in that positions, I knew what I did when I was in that position. So I knew what I should expect from them. And then when I hire them, the pro or the person to replace me in that specific position, I know what they should do and what they can do and what they should be able to do. So when they tell me things, I know what I should expect and um, I know what's happening there. On the live session, we have Klaus Bruderich, Michael Howell, Jonathan. Hey, how's it going? Pierre, thanks for joining in. Danica Ritson and Van Vijkobis. Thanks for joining in on the live session, guys. Today, we're answering some of the questions that people ask me uh, as a direct message. If you have any questions to ask as well, send them on the live session right now and then we will answer them. If you're enjoying the session so far, uh, send the shop 
so that I know I'm on the right track. So the first question um, was where I can buy my book, bargain books, exclusive books. The second one was um, if he doesn't know a lot about business, should he just hire people? No, start from the bottom, learn the lessons yourself, and then you can always hire people to replace you when you already know what to do. Okay, third question. Zander asks, Hi Albert, I will meet you right now. I can make the next year clear with my business but I will so long begin my business to read through books to read. A good choice, Zander. Uh, what do you for in terms of a business point? Okay, so Zander is asking which type of books you should read uh, from a business point of view. If you're starting reading books, uh, I've made a live session on that as well with the top five books I, I suggest. But I would suggest from the top of my mind, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad uh, by Robert Kiyosaki, uh, The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clayson, I think. Uh, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Um, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And then... Uh, Rules of Wealth by Richard Templar. And then guys, obviously, How to Become a Millionaire at 22 by Albert van Weyck. So you can start there and start reading those books. I think my own book, I wrote it so that it's very simple and easy to understand and it covers most of the basics. So if you want to start reading business books, that's my suggestions. A lot of people sending shops on the live session. Uh, we know we're on the right track. Ilanza is asking, hi Albert, Will a school teacher ever become wealthy? <laughs> I get this question a lot. Albert, will a sports person ever become wealthy? Will an artist ever become a millionaire? Will a school teacher ever become a millionaire? Guys, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, okay? If you have your financial concepts right, if you have your business basics right, if you have your work ethic right, if you have your dreams and your goal setting right, I promise you guys, any industry, you can make money. Okay? Just think about it this way. Let's, let, let's take food. Do you know a few companies that's making a massive amount of money in terms of food? Right? You can think of it too. A few. Beverages. There's a lot of companies that's making a lot of money in beverages. Cars, right? Schooling. Do you know a few colleges, private colleges, maybe private high schools, private tutoring people that's making a lot of money? I had a tutoring company in varsity and I already made a lot of money just with a few students, okay? So, um, um, education, definitely, Ilanza, you can definitely make money from that, any, any industry. Do you know a few artists that's big, that's making money? I bet you you do. In every industry, there's people making money. Hey, there's people making money from shipping things, right? There's people making money from wrapping things. <laughs> there's people making money from packing things. In any industry, you can make money. You just need to get your business basics right, first thing. You need to get your financial knowledge right. You need to get your goals and your dreams and your goals set up right. You need to get um, your mindset right and then your work ethic. Uh, but it all starts with getting financial education. Okay, cool guys. On the live session, we have Klaus, Michael, Jonathan, Pierre, Danica, Van Wijk, uh, Bl Miss Blue Eyes, uh, and Peter. Thank you so much for joining in on the live session. If you have any questions, send them through right now and we will answer them live. Next, we're going through a few questions today. Uh, if you're just joining in right now, you can always catch the whole live session in the stories up at top. Next question. Neo is saying, Hi Albert, I'm from Springs Boys, Boys High. I have a few questions. I hope you can help me. I have a product that I want to sell, but I need fund. I need funding for my business venture. Uh, how would I, and then secondly, how would I go about expanding this venture in line with a long-term plan and how do I know when I can expand? Okay, so first thing, uh, Neo, funding. You shouldn't be looking for funding. You should start small. You should start from the floor. Start from the ground. Um, I, talk, I had a talk at the Under-19 Lions team a while back. And one of the guys had the same question. Albert, I have this awesome business idea. I just need the funds. I just need the investment to launch it. And then I thought a bit about it. And I said, hey guys, you guys are pro rugby players, right? And all of them said, yes, we're pro rugby players. And I said, now imagine me. Albert van Wijk, right? The last time I played rugby was Billiki rugby in primary school. Imagine me 
I have some kind of rich uncle or something and I ask him for funding for investments and he pays all of my clothes, he pays my tox, he pays my bags, he pays for my training, my supplements, everything and he even pays for my place in the team, right? Everything, investment is there, uh, startup capital is there, everything and now I'm on the field. And they were like, oh, but what are you talking about? So I was like, no, I'm on the field in my lounge, just right next to you guys. I'm going to run next to you and you're going to have to pass the ball to me. And they started laughing. They were like, oh, but you can't play rugby. I said, I know I can't play, but I have the investment. I have the funding. I have the capital. Guys, the first tackle I take, I promise you, I'm going to have to be carried off the field. Okay, because I've never taken a tackle before. I have never attended any practice session before. I've never scored a try. I've never, you know, played in the big leagues on the field. And now because I have funding, I'm on the field right next to you guys. And that, that is a problem. Okay, you need to start small. You need to start from the bottom. You need to take the tackles. You need to learn the lessons. You need to score the tries. You need to attend the practice sessions. So that when you get in the game, right? When you get in the game, you know what you're doing. You're tough. You're on the field. You're playing. And it's the same with business, guys. Same with business. You can't just jump in at the top with your idea and have the funding because you're going to make mistakes. And if you make mistakes, you're going to have a problem if you're not tough enough to take the tackle. And Pierre is asking on the live session, what do you mean with work ethic? Pierre, so a lot of people have dreams, right? They have dreams like they want this Lambo, they want this big house, they want this awesome family, you know, with the green grass and the picket fence and the dog and everything. They want that. That's their dream. They want to tour the world. But you need to have the work ethic to support that dream. Okay, look at people that has achieved that dream and look at what's their work ethic. Okay, you need to put in the effort, you need to put in the work. It won't just come for free, it won't just appear, it won't just be there. A lot of the people have big dreams, but they don't have the work ethic to support that big dream. They have big dreams of touring the world, but then on the weekends they take off, they watch, they binge their next series or whatever. They have big dreams to have a happy family with green grass and a nice dog and, you know, Christmas presents. But when uh, it, it's five o'clock, they knock off and go home and don't do anything for the rest of the day. So it depends on what you want. If you don't want much, you don't need to have a massive work ethic. You can chill it out. But if you want a lot and you want those dreams and those big things in life, you're going to have to have the work ethic to support that. I hope that makes sense, guys. I hope that makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, good question, Pierre. Pierre is also saying very good example. Uh, Yerach, thanks for joining in. Uh, Angelica, thanks for joining in on the live session. Last question. Uh, Tsepisu is asking, how did you make it uh, to this level uh, where you are now? Okay, so, so, so it was a lot of reading, a lot of reading. Um, I think the biggest key to my journey in terms of my success was financial education, right? 90% um, of South Africa's people uh, is in a poor or lower income class. And where do you learn your financial concepts from, right? Your parents or your grandparents? You don't learn it in school, you don't learn it in varsity. I even had accounting in varsity, I still didn't learn uh, where to invest money, how to see a good investment, um, what to, how to be an entrepreneur and deal with business, right? You learn it from your parents, your grandparents, etc. And if most of those people are in a lower or poor income class, what ha what's happening? Um, people with a poor mindset, a, a lower class mindset, is teaching other people financial concepts right this is the hard truth that's that's the hard truth and uh, this is similar in my in my experience I didn't grow up rich we didn't have a wealthy family we didn't have generational wealth coming through I needed to learn these financial concepts right I needed to study it so the the main ingredient to I think my journey was financial education I read books like crazy business books read books read books read books read books and learn these financial concepts second step application so I started applying all of these financial concepts I learned in, in the books uh, into small businesses gained experience 
again and again and again gained experience and then started these small businesses growing them learning lessons and growing as you go and as I grew in these small businesses I started uh, developing them into bigger businesses learning lessons creating a recipe that works and from there that recipe can just be applied again and again with bigger businesses and growing to a position um, where, where I'm in my journey right now so that would I say at uh, Sapisu is uh, the main ingredients financial education and then application of that and starting small in small businesses on the live session class Bredrag, Michael, Hal, uh, Jonathan, Pierre, uh, Danica, Kobus, Miss Blue Eyes, um, Peter, Angelica, Erich, Henku, Celeste, Quintus and Neville Thank you so much for joining in on the live session today. Today we answered some of the questions that people send me uh, through a direct messages. Messages. If you like the live session, send a shop right now so we know we did a good job. Um, every Tuesday we're live at three. If you have any entrepreneurial questions, send them through. We tackled a few of them today. I hope you guys really enjoyed the session and it was really valuable for you guys and answered some questions. If you're just tuning in right now, you can see the whole live session in the stories at the top. See you again next week. Have an awesome and productive week, guys.